Right now, the University of Melbourne is making its biggest investment in history into the Melbourne School of Engineering and IT. In order to communicate the scale of MSE 2025 and where it is heading, we have created for you a unique 360 degree experience. Come with me as we meet the pioneers and visionaries that are changing the world today and leading us into the future. Let's go. I'm Ivan Marils. I'm the Dean of Engineering and our strategy is to bring the Faculty of Engineering together with government and industry in such a way that together we solve the important problems of tomorrow. From an innovation point of view, I think that's in the blood of an engineer. By definition, is always to do things better, never optimal, but better. Always to optimize, that's part of the upbringing of any engineer, essentially. I'm Jason Monty. We're here in the Michelle Hydraulics Laboratory in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. So we need lasers and cameras to do something called particle image velocimetry. Now the problem with studying fluid mechanics is that you can't see anything. You can't see these patterns in the air or the water. So how do we, how do we analyze it if we can't see it? The way we do that is to put tiny particles in either the air or the water, and those particles will move with the flow and we light those particles up with a laser. My name is Michael Breer. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering in the School of Engineering here at the University of Melbourne. So the two gentlemen are working here, are working with us and Ford on how to make low emission engines more reliable, more cost effective. Tan May is working on natural gas and Joe is looking at different ways of making increasingly renewable fuels a reality in engines. I'm George Lee from Baja Board. We make adventure four-wheel drive, full suspension electric skateboards at the moment and uh, other electric vehicles in the future. Well, I studied uh, mechanical engineering and physics and uh, a lot of it was problem solving skills. The evolution of the Melbourne School of Engineering um, and their upcoming new facilities, I think, is going to really help uh, startups, particularly the hardware startups. My name is Kyle Slater. I'm the CEO and co founder at Nura, uh, where we make the perfect sound for you. So, electronic engineering uh, was what I wanted to do. Um, when I started that, I started to miss physics, so I added that. Um, so I did a degree in physics and electronic engineering. Nura's mission is to provide the perfect sound in any place for every person. My name is Jaisal Shaw and I am the Director of Corporate Liaison here at the University of Melbourne. In the next 10 to 15 years, we don't only want to create graduates that can work in the knowledge economy, we want our researchers and our students to be changing the knowledge economy, creating new industries for the knowledge economy, creating new jobs and being thought leaders and activists in that space. The other area where we want to be really world leading is in data science. Again, part of our DNA, we're the first in Australia to establish a computing science, uh, very strong in digital engineering as such. It's an area of the future. Everything will become digital in a way and digitized in a way, so how do you engineer in a digital space? My name is Tong Huang. I'm currently a research fellow at the Microsoft Research Centre for Source and Natural User Interface, School of Computing Information Systems. So this research here is in partner with the Department of Physiotherapy. We actually track body movement, as you can see the movements, and we project muscle and skeleton, as well as uh, blood circulation on the body. Anne Halstead, Project Director, Infrastructure, MSC 2025. I'm leading the change within the School of Engineering to provide world-leading facilities. The research that does happen currently is world-class. An ecosystem of not just university, but other partners in industry, startups, community, and the Science Gallery Melbourne. To be able to bring those up to a new standard and a new scale provides a unique facility. We create the physical and now digital world around us. and We want to celebrate that. We want to inspire others in what we do.
at the essence of education is actually a very selfless act because you want your student to be better than yourself. That's what education is all about. It's creating a mind that is formed with all the right ideas, but then is totally independent and can go places.